Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here. So the other day I did a video on annealing and showing you guys how I anneal my breasts. Uh, we took some breasts that we annealed the way I usually anneal, which is about six seconds or so. And then we took some to the max temp or the max time on my annealer, which is 10 seconds. The breast got pretty red, but it still held the freedom seed just fine. So that got me thinking, what does it take to anneal a piece of breast to failure? How long do we have to leave it in that flame, you know, in order for it to really be ruined? Uh, obviously, one thing that we need to make sure is that we don't, for this test, it doesn't matter. But the point is, the, 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 big, the big worry or the, or the big thing that you need to avoid is annealing the base of the breast, okay? Because that is obviously where all the pressure goes. And if you anneal this uh, too much, you could potentially... Uh, you know have a catastrophic malfunction so you obviously don't want to do that but today I'm just gonna see how much heat it takes for this to no longer have grip let's find out all right so let's do the first one at 10 seconds the flames are actually touching each other right now. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get more heat, but let's see, uh, let's see how well this works. All right, here we go. Here we go. That's gonna be 10 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and mark that piece of brass. I'm just gonna put a red mark real quick, just like that. That's our 10 second. Uh, the next one, we're gonna go to 15. I'm just gonna put a 1.5 on here. Okay, and the machine will only go to 10 seconds. So we're gonna have to do it manually. Once it gets on there, we're gonna I have a timer right here. Oh, oops. All right. All right, now we have it on manual mode. Okay, I'm going to stop that. Okay. And let me see. We go. Okay. I'm trying to. All right, you're just going to have to believe me. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, that was like 16, okay? And I'm just gonna keep doing this. We're gonna do 20 on this one, okay? And go, okay? I'm gonna do 20 seconds on that one. Getting pretty red. Twenty seconds. Okay, and then we're gonna do twenty-five on the next one. There it goes. We're counting. We're gonna take this one to twenty-five seconds. Well, wow, that's a long time. All right, we're at 21, 22, 24, 25. That one does not look good. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's start with that. So this is the one that we did 10 seconds. And right there, so 20 PSI. Okay. This is uh, 15 seconds. Oh. 
Oh, nothing. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Nothing. Okay, so it appears that uh, right around the ten second mark is the maximum. Uh, remember that this time the flame was hotter than last time I did a test. So you know that's going to be the difference. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> pretty ugly oh uh, look, look at that anyway so this is 30 seconds yep no pressure whatsoever so 10 seconds seems to be about the limit of uh, you know because once we went to 15 it seated it seated so this is 15 I can pull it out. Uh, this is 20. Pull it right out. 15 had a little more pressure. Uh, this is 10. Can't pull that out. And of course 30. Look at that. Pulls right out. Anyway, I would say that 10 seconds would be about the max. Now this one, I left in there for a very long time. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> so let's see what this one looks like. Oh, see, this one I can just see it by hand. I don't even need a die. So, for sure, this one's ruined. Here's another one that I'd left for a very, very long time. Same deal. Still can't crush it with my fingers, but as you can see, there's no tension whatsoever. All right, so there you have it. It seems that uh, 10 seconds at a pretty hot flame is about the maximum that you can anneal this brass where it can still give you some uh, neck tension. Uh, at 15 seconds, it was gone. So 15 seconds on, there's no more neck tension. And uh, the brass is pretty much uh, I'm gonna say ruined at that point. Uh, however, even if it doesn't grip at the mouth, the main concern is the base. Cause you can imagine what would happen if this got too hot and it, it got annealed. You know, you can, like I said, you can have really, really bad issues. So don't do that. Uh, obviously this is trash brass. I'm gonna throw it away, but this is uh, stuff that you can do with your old brass. You know, you can experiment or even new brass. I mean, waste a piece of brass or two. I mean, that's what the amp annealer does, right? On that, uh, Aztec mode, uh, it pretty much destroys a piece of brass so that it knows uh, at what point, I, I really don't know what it knows, but it, I think it's a version of what we're doing today, right? It, 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 it heats it up and it probably has some sensors in there that, that lets it know to what point the brass is destroyed, which is kind of what we figured out today, right? Uh, 10 seconds is about the max. And uh, beyond that, you're going to destroy the brass. So if you stay, I don't know, I would say six to seven. I usually do six to seven seconds. So if you were to do about seven seconds, uh, and of course, you, you kind of look for the, for the next to glow red a little bit, and you'll be safe. Uh, and of course, test it for yourself. I'm just kind of showing you how, how I learn, and this is how I do it. All right. I hope this one helped you, uh, and I hope it was fun enough that... Uh, you give it a like. <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys next time. I hope all your groups are one whole. See ya.